It's accused of selling mislabeled and fake medication, and now the popular online pharmacy is ordered to close up shop. Now new at 10, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed shares what you need to know before you buy online. We regret that CanadaDrugs.com will be closing July 13th. A disappointing message for Lori Dawson. She's been ordering medication from the online pharmacy Canada Drugs for the past few years. When she found out why the company was closing, the feeling went from disappointment to shock. The issue was, in fact, importation of counterfeit drugs. It all started with Avastin, a drug used to treat late-stage cancer. The FDA discovered some patients were getting a drug with no active ingredient. According to this indictment, Canada Drugs and some of its subsidiaries misled customers about the safety of the drugs it sold, saying the medicine was manufactured in FDA-approved facilities overseas. In reality, the company didn't know where the drugs it purchased were being manufactured or who had been handling them. The thing that was learned about that case is that it was difficult to track exactly where that drug came from. Mary Durham is the pharmacy automation and supply chain manager for Truman Medical Centers. She says the counterfeit crisis isn't limited to chemotherapy. In fact, according to the Partnership for Safe Medicines, as many as 65 fake drugs named in FDA smuggling cases were sold in Missouri. Up to 54 were sold in Kansas. The risk you take there is gambling with your health and it's, it's highly not recommended. To get your meds conveniently and at a cost that works for you, Durham recommends going through your insurer to find a reputable mail order pharmacy. Here are some of the red flags to look out for if you do go online. Take a look at the price. A huge discount is probably too good to be true. Make sure a prescription is required and look for other languages on the label. You can also search the company's name on the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy to see if it's legit. Dawson still has questions about the prescription roulette Canada Drugs may have put her through. I was thinking, geez, if I've been paying for placebos or something worse these past years. Reporting in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Canada Drugs and Associated Companies were ordered to forfeit $29 million of their profits from the illegal schemes. They also had to pay a $5 million fine and permanently shut down all operations.